सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दिस पोलर सो दिस इज ए पोलर 36 इंच हाई स्पीड सीलिंग फैन सो एज यू सॉ द मोटर इज वेरी सिंपल इट लुक्स लाइक ए डीसी फैन बट इट्स नॉट ए डीसी फैन इट्स नॉट ए वेरी स्पेशल मोटर इट्स ए रेगुलर मोटर एज ऑफ माय ईपीसी पेरेस्टल फैन यू रिमेंबर द ईपीसी पेरेस्टल फैन दैट्स इंडस्ट्रियल द इंटरनल्स ऑफ द मोटर इज एक्जैक्टली सेम सो लेट्स क्विकली हैव ए टियर डाउन ऑफ दिस फैन एंड लेट्स चेक द फैन बिफोर दैट लेट मी show you the performance then i will have a tear down and i will show you so i bought this fan from olx and the fan, in the meantime the fan have some sub problem because the lower bearing was slightly slipping on the sub so i used tape trick and it's now fixed also the winding is slightly poor so i am using a 3.15 to, to make the fan in full speed because it's a rewinded fan whatsoever so let me just show you the performance then i will go to the tear down so let's start the fan So as you can see, this fan is really fast. So the airflow is also really thick airflow. Means it's very thick airflow. You guys, I don't know what you feel, but this fan gives the highest airflow from a 36 fan ever possible in this planet. So let me show you the fan from the side. So as you can see, some reflections from the street light. So this is a polar fan. So obviously a geometrical shaped canopy. And as you can see, the airflow is awesome. The speed of the fan is more than 600 rpm. It's something like 625 rpm. It's the fastest fan in the 36 inch high speed segment, and it's eight pole motor, and it's having a airflow of around 210 cubic meters per minute. Normally, 36 inch normal ceiling fans give airflow of 155, and uh, the high speed like the XPT90 give 195, or the polar high speed of 2020 also give 195. This fan gives guarantee 210 in this 36 segment. So now let, let's have a tear down of this fan and let's see what's inside. So guys, as you can see, I've disassembled the fan. So it's a little bit dusty, and you have to remove the blades first before installation. Otherwise, you have to keep the fan like this. So now it's a little bit difficult to uninstall the blades, but I know how to do it. So whatever, I will hang the fan anywhere elsewhere, and I will just remove the blades. But before that, let me show you here. So as you can see. Since this is not the rotating part and the bottom is the rotating part, this is the level of the fan. So let me just clean the level first. As you can see, this fan is already repainted by the previous mechanic, but it's not an issue. So if you can see, this is the level. So it clearly mentions polar, and model is high speed, 900 mm, and so much electricals India. So this is having a with a 3.15 capacitor because the winding is poor and it's a four wire winding. Officially, it should have three wire. And as you can see, this this part is totally fixed. Let me turn on the flash for your clarity. As you can see, this part is fixed, and this is the accessory. And here is an extra threaded hole, but I don't know what's that purpose. Capacitor is connected this side, and this is the thing. And as you can see, here is a gap. So this is the level. So the, overall, this is the fan, and there is no safety screw of this fan because it's a 1990s fan. So let's disassemble and see what's inside. So as you can see, this is the fan. So I have removed the blades. So these are the blades. This is the blade. So as you can see, the blades is having pretty high blade angle. As you can see, the blade angles are somewhat like the high speed Skion 36. It's a very high blade angle, if you can see. And the blades quality is very premium. It's very thick quality blades, and the shank is also very heavy. and i hope these are aluminum blades so let's let's take a magnet and just put it on the blades and see whether it behaves what and this is the rotating part of the fan as you can see and this is a cast iron piece as you can hear this is a cast iron piece so this is a shaft and this rotates here so let us turn on the fan like this and see what's the rpm of this particular hub this is the hub based fan and this is not a body rotating fan so before that let's magnet test So guys, as you can see, I took a magnet here. So the magnet is grabbing here. The magnet is also grabbing on the shaft, on the is casting piece also, and the down in the down dot also it's sticking, but on the blades it's not sticking. Let me have a focus. So as you can see, it's not grabbing on the blades, not in each either of the blades. As you can see, the magnet is not attracting this stuff. So let us see the shank. Yes, it is attracted with the shank and the screws. Yes, as you can see, but the blade sheets is not attracting. So as you can see. The shank is of metal iron, but the sheet is not of iron, so it's aluminium sheet. 
So this is a really good quality fan from Polar made by Somach Electricals. So as you can see let's start the fan. So it's running perfectly as you can see. This is the performance. Let us try to stop it. So it's vibrating now. And my hands are behaving like drum brakes. It looks like a uh, any aeroplane or helicopter fans hub. But the speed is around 600 RPM. Means now the sub speed is around uh, 690 or 700 RPM. With the blades it will be 625 or 610. So let's have a tear down of this fan and let's see what's the performance. The so turn of the fan. So the motor as you can see. It's a unique looking motor. This motor resembles me of other motors that is the induction motors of pumps or other things obviously this is an induction motor so let's tear down this fan So guys as you can see this is the rotor so this rotor is pretty big in diameter as you can see so for comparing it with my screwdriver so it's very big in diameter and uh, this is a 6201 in the upper side and 6202 in the lower side so i've removed the seals and this fan was assembled in a tape trick technique that you just saw because these shafts i need to weld these shafts and i need to machine these shafts because the bearing are loose fitting on these shafts so now i have to grease this because this is as you can see plastic is present here let me just have a focus so you can see properly so if you can see here this is it's also fit with tape trick because this shaft was loose fitting both sides on the bearing that's why and this is a huge coil as you can see this is a eight plate eight pole i mean sorry this is a uh, 24 plate eight pole motor so it's a rewinded motor as you can see the winder also did not put enough copper so the internal windings are rewinded but the external are not rewinded that's why this fan cannot gain as much torque required for the full power so i hate this kind of windings when you are replacing the windings either replace the entire windings or don't replace the windings so as you can see this is the thing so here if i start from here one two three four five six seven and eight eight poles are here and four wires as you can see so this is the thing this is a rewinded piece because if it was original coil then both the this uh, winding should have this cloth wrap insulation since the internals don't have an internals look pretty new so i need to rewind this fan and as you can see this is the number provided by the rewinding guys in bengal so uh, always uh, i have to rewind this winding and regarding this this is the body you may say this is a lower body the paint is stri stripping off badly that i can see so i need this i think this fan needs a repaint because as you can see this is the original paint that is and this is a repainted so i this fan need to be painted and the second thing is that these screws these particular screws are for nothing so actually these screws are meant for any kind of guards or bird screen like thing since this fan is the only fan in the uh, uh, market that of 1990s to have a original bird screen if you want a bird screen like the air circulator like my epc pedestal fan that front and back guards you will get the front and back guards of this fan exclusively manufactured by polar you have to buy it separately so these bolts are used for that purpose there are three bolts here as you can see so now let's move to the uh, upper thing so this is a small thick shaft so actually this is not a shaft this is the down dot 
assembly so if you can see here this is the round rod assembly and as you heard it's very heavy so this particular piece of metal is totally it's a solid metal as you can see it's a solid metal and inside also it's a solid so this thing is actually uh, threaded up here in the uh, upper part and it it hangs the fan and this is not a rotating part because this is the assembly of the body of the fan and this is the level so let me show you the level again so so much electricals india so very nice company so much they make awesome fans and here you can see a through by through hole if, if you want to remove the bearing without any puller also you will just put your screwdriver like this and just hit the bearing and the bearing will fall from this body same for goes for the upper body but sadly the upper bearing is stuck here i need a puller like the trans air bearing puller to just pull it off but i don't need to replace the bearings now because it's an ach bearings that's why so i hope you saw the fan properly so whatever might be so now as you can see let's I, I will just top up the grease of the bearings of both the bearings i will just top up the grease uh, using some skf grease and i will then cover up the bearings because i think the bearings are new only so it don't need any uh, re, re lubrication or any grease change as you know so and this fans construction is really good if i rewind this winding then it will be a perfect oem condition because i don't think the rotor is bad the rotor looks extremely nice and physically you cannot determine a rotor whether it's good or bad but i will be very sad and disappointed if this rotor is weak but this fan pulls or takes full speed in 3.15 capacitor and even don't heat up like hell this fans official wattage is 85 but due to the 3.15 capacitor and this kind of junk wire rewiring or rewinding this fan takes around 115 watts let's regrease the bearings and let's install the fan and see what's the thing and i have kept here the plastic because i will use it in the by shoving the rear bearings so tape trick always applicable so guys as you can see i have released the bearings the bearings are in a perfect condition so as you can see it's now it's not free as previous but it's now quite strong and tight so grease is completely enjoying in this position and let's install the fan and see if it's running or it's dead if it's dead then i will surely rewind the fan but it's not dead since i have not heard the windings and yes this is the groups for sit the windings to be get means this winding sits on these groups so let's fit it
so guys as you can see i have connected everything everything is now connected i have tightened everything the canopies are very bad condition as you can know and you can just shove this canopy down like this but this canopy is rotting somehow so i will restore this fan pretty soon uh, i want to make it this brown color only but i will make some premium brown color and not this stupid brown color so something like lesser brown or whatsoever but i have to mix colors and make it so if you just shove the canopies like this i know both the parts are static on and not rotating but what will happen the heat will be generated and the capacitor get, get will get overheated so just place a small gap across the canopy and then tighten up because the previous owner i hope they just shove the canopy fully down and the canopy got uh, bad due to the heat that generated from the uh, this motor so because this is a high speed motor obviously so now everything is good so let's test the fan and let's install it and let's see the performance so as you can see now the fan is ready let's plug it in and let's see the performance so so as you can see oh nice no vibrations no body leakages nothing the fan is running extremely nice as you can see let me just try to stop it so i know there are many noises from my background constantly because today is a very hot day and that's why i cannot live here without a fan and an exhaust fan that's why so as you can see this this is rotating pretty nice there are slight vibrations out there but that's not a big deal because that's somewhat a internal vibration but there is no friction there is no nothing because this fan is damn silent now damn silent no shaft issues no nothing so let's stop this fan so now now the bearings are also very nice it's stopping quickly because of the redubricated bearings by skf grease always use original skf grease and bearings and these bearings are currently hch bearings because for a temporary application during restore after and during restoration i will replace it with skf bearings so this is the performance as you can see very nice fan so let's install it and let's see the performance so guys as you can see i have installed the fan so let's start the fan and see what's the performance As you can see the fan took 100% full speed the air flow is awesome there is no such grinding noises or soft noises out there as you can see it's very awesome quality fan so if you guys have this fan then keep it i will never say you to sell this kind of gems because this is a very good fan so whatever might be means i feel this is a 1990s product because since nowhere the date is written on the label or whatsoever but i hope it's purely either it's 1990s product or it's 19 late 1980s product so whatever might be guys if you like the video then press the like button if you have any comments please comment it down and don't forget to share my video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this so whatever might be guys thanks for watching